Hi, I'm Tony. Welcome to Sports Bike Shop's review of the RST Ventilator XT textile jacket. You want a mesh bike jacket because sometimes it's very hot and a normal bike jacket's just a bit too uncomfortable. So there are two ways of going about it. You can buy a lightweight mesh jacket that you only ever use on hot days and then keep your normal jacket for when the weather's more normal itself. The other route is to get something like this RST Ventilator XT. The outer on this jacket has substantial areas of mesh to bring in that cooling airflow when the temperature is high, but it's still quite a robust jacket overall, and there's a combined warm and waterproof lining on the inside as well. So if you leave that lining in for riding in the cold and all the wet, or you can take it out when it's nice and warm. There's tough ballistic nylon at the shoulders on this jacket. There's RST's Maxtex material that forms the main structure and then large panels of their K300 mesh material on the front, under the arms, down the sides of the torso, and also on the back. That mesh material has an element of protection as well, as this jacket meets the middle level of the CE protection standard, which is double A. Now, if a jacket meets the lowest level, which is single A, then areas like these just here aren't tested for abrasion resistance at all. The standard for double A does require these areas to be tested for resistance to abrasion, so you know this area is going to offer you some proven protection. This jacket zips up the front and the collar has a neoprene trim around the top for comfort. Then there's a tab that secures over the zip puller to stop it flapping around in the breeze. The cuffs are simple Velcro fasteners and they wrap up tightly enough to go under a glove cuff or there's enough room for a glove to go inside if you're happy to wiggle it about a bit. Fit adjustment comes from press stud adjusters above and below the elbows and there are also belts at the waist. So moving to the inside, there's that combined liner that I mentioned earlier. The outer layer of that liner is made from RST's Synacqua Pro waterproof membrane. It's rated to a 15,000 millimeter static head, which means it's lab tested to resist a 15 meter column of water. That's twice or even three times the rating on some waterproof membranes. So that's actually pretty serious for a jacket that's meant mostly for summer riding. Then there's thermal wadding behind that to bring protection against the chill, which I found pretty effective when riding on a cool day. I also ended up with the liner in when riding on a very warm day, which was my own mistake. And it didn't actually turn out to be as sticky as I expected it to be. I don't think the thermal liner makes this a serious consideration for proper winter riding. It's more for chilly days down into say the low teens in Celsius. My preference is always for a jacket to have separate thermal and waterproof lining because it gives us more flexibility and lets us pick what suits the conditions at the time. Sometimes a waterproof liner on its own is just enough to keep out a bit of chill as well as covering off any threat of rain. Now, I would still rather this jacket had both layers separately, but RST think it's too much of a faff, so they combine them. That's a faff for riders, not a faff for RST. But in this case, in this jacket, because that liner isn't very thick, I think it just about works. There's less chance of overheating on a warm, wet day in this jacket than many others. There are two pockets in the liner as well, which has some elastication at the base as well to try and stop it riding up, which leaves the bottom section vulnerable to water getting in if it does ride up. It has its own zip in that liner to fasten it with a flap over the top that secures with Velcro. If any water does get past the Velcro, then there's a gutter that forces it down to the bottom of the jacket rather than letting it reach the teeth of the zip. Behind that liner is the mesh lining, which has two storage pockets and holds the armor for shoulders, elbows, and back. The armor is soft, but it's substantial and it meets the higher level two of the CE standard for impact protection. The label in the lining shows the jacket's AA rating within the CE standard, which as I said earlier, is higher than I would normally expect in a textile jacket with large amounts of mesh. There's also a full length connection zip to attach it to trousers. Normally you'd see a short zip in a jacket along these lines. You can pick trousers from the RST range, but if you want the full chill experience, then there are a pair of matching Ventilator XT trousers. They're made from the same materials, they're made in the same manner, and they cost £149.99 for a pair as we record this. And while we're talking money, this jacket is £179.99 as we record this, so it's about £330 for the combination. In terms of sizing, the jacket ranges from small up to 5XL, which is a range from a 40-inch chest up to a 54-inch chest. So, is this jacket for you? I'd say there are two reasons why it might be. First of all, it's not common to have a mesh jacket like this that meets the AA rating in CE. It's also got superior level two armor throughout. So if protection sits higher up your priority list, then there's less of a compromise on that score with this jacket than you're going into with most mesh jackets. The other reason you might 
find this jacket's for you is if you want something that will cover more than just hot days. There's a decent waterproof liner in this which kept me dry in a few downpours in my time wearing it. I even got caught in one particularly horrible spell of rain actually and I stayed bone dry through that as well. I wouldn't put it forward as a winter jacket, nor do RST to be clear about that, but if you ride from spring through to the end of autumn and you try to avoid really ropey weather, then this jacket I think will cope pretty easily with all of that. This is a AA rated jacket with a five piece set of armour to the superior level two. It's got a pretty hardcore waterproof liner, there are big sections of mesh for airflow and it only costs £180 as we record this. That to me is actually a very good proposition and I can see why a lot of riders will be drawn to something that's so versatile. I hope that tells you everything you wanted to know about the RST Ventilator XT jacket. But if there is anything you'd like to ask or to add, then please pop a comment below. Thanks for watching.